So if you're the kind of person that struggles with positive thinking, I have the book for you guys. Now my name is Marcus, this is Discover Ignite, and today I'm actually doing a book review on a book called The Power of Positive Thinking by Dr. Norman Vincent Peale. So hold on, stick tight, and let's get this book review started. We all battle negative thoughts, negative ideas, almost on a consistent basis, right? We find that, you know, we don't have control of our environment, so different things can come into our environment and essentially, you know, put this like, this negative energy just floating over us, right, for the whole day sometimes, if you can't, you know, reinforce it with some kind of positive thinking. and. This is a consistent battle, right? You gotta constantly be monitoring this stuff and realize that when those bad thoughts or ideas come into your mind that you can, you know, extinguish them before they get too, too chaotic and uncontrollable, right? And so this particular book, I've actually did some research and I was trying to find a book on positivity, right? Because I actually, a time in my life when and there was just a lot of negativity going around, right, about events that I had absolutely no control over, and it's just life, right? This is just life. And so I was looking for a book and I found this book, right? Now this particular book I've actually read multiple times because a lot of the concepts and ideas, you know, they, you can reinforce, right? It's like you reread it and then you get new information that you can reapply, right? Or something that you might have forgotten about reading through it the first couple times, right? So this particular book, again has tons of really positive things to keep in mind right to really help you through those times when you feel like that negative thought is coming on and a lot of times we don't notice this right like we let that negative thought just sit and fester and then you know we end up not only feeling bad for a day we feel like we go a couple days maybe even a week sometimes even longer than that but the biggest thing is is to to get the concepts right is to get the concepts out of this book and apply them when you're noticing that these these negative thoughts are starting to you know fester and try to extinguish them before anything bad happens right before you start constantly getting in this this routine where you're just reiterating all these bad thoughts and ideas and so this book really does that right it really talks about hope a lot right and understanding that days aren't always going to be bad right we go through moments in life where things are bad and things are good and on those days those moments when things are bad we just know that we have to reinforce and really kind of look back of what we've accomplished and understand that you know things will get eventually better, right? We just have to keep reiterating the, the positivity about what's going on, right? Maybe something happens in your life and we only focus on the negativity, but if we could actually focus on the positive things in life, you know, we, have, we approach it better and we notice that we stay in this mindset of being positive. So you start looking at everything else in a positive light and how much better things get as opposed to thinking about that situation, the negative impact of that situation and then seeing how that essentially, you know, controls your life, right? Because you just sit there and that's all you're thinking about and it takes away from, you know, your friends, family and loved ones because of the fact that that idea is just sitting in the back of your mind as opposed to you know saying it is what it is and you know how could I find a, a solution to that problem and try to look at it some kind of positive spin right maybe something happens in your life and it's actually a sign right a sign that you can allow yourself to change right maybe there's just some change that you need to learn so you try to incorporate this change right you try to actually encompass it and allow it to to guide you right in the right way and be more positive right and understand that there's a reason for all this right and to just keep looking at hope and keep looking at the positive things and if you do this you know that there's more positive things will come into your life as opposed to negative things right because you essentially draw to yourself whatever kind of energy you're looking for right and you've noticed this right there's a lot of times I've noticed where you look at negative things right a situation that's really negative and then you just feel like you get in this you know consistent compounding of all these more other negative things happening in your life where if you are thinking positive you know a lot more positivity comes in your life and that's just having that perspective right having the perspective that you know things happen for a reason 
and that you can continue on being a positive person and seeing more positivity then people are attracted to more positive energy right people like that positive energy because you you give some of it off right as opposed to if you're negative people can feel that right people can feel that negativity and they may not want to be around you because they noticed a negative energy around you where if you can stay in that positive mindset that you can you know progress a lot better than what you normally could if you were in that negative mindset and allowing that to essentially just eat you from the inside right and so that's what this book is about is to just talk about a lot of the different concepts about how you can iterate to positive thinking throughout your life and keeping hope right especially during dark times or even good times right to consistently maintain that positive thinking. As far as any cons to the book, I must say this book does have some religious aspects to it. So if that's really not your cup of tea, I must say the concepts in this book are still worth reading to get out of it, right? Because it's got some great ideas that can help you, especially if you have some really negative thoughts in there that you don't know how to handle, or perhaps, you know, you go through your day and something comes up, you know, there's some, some really good concepts that you can use that you can apply in your daily situations that you might actually come across some kind of negative thoughts or ideas so I think anybody can get anything out of this book right it's just overcoming that if you're the kind of person that doesn't doesn't think that they can overcome that this this book may not be for you but I would still think you are passing up some some great information right because it does have some phenomenal information on how to stay positive no matter what right because it's it's a consistent consistent battle with yourself right trying to be positive when a lot of times it seems like it's hard to be positive right there might be an event in your life where it's like I don't really see how I could be positive in this particular situation but it definitely helps right it helps with all those different situations so if you enjoyed this video remember to hit the like button and until next time I will see you guys later